Meanwhile, in the UK, attorneys representing Vibes Cartel and his co-accused say they left the Privy Council satisfied. They spoke with TVJ News after the judgment earlier today. Romardo Lyons tells us more. God on time. And we always, we always know that God on time. And a quash. One that has evoked a sense of joy from those representing the appellants. For one, Isaac Buchanan, attorney for Adija Vibes Cartel Palmer, is loving every minute. I'm very happy about that. Um, it was a just decision, it was the right decision, and it was what was expected. And as expectations reach fever pitch among supporters, the question among many is what does it mean for Mr. Palmer and his team? Standing outside the Privy Council, just minutes after the judgment, Mr. Buchanan gladly responded. What it means is that in the same guidance that they had sorted, the, the judges have the discretion now to deal with the matter at the local level, which, which is in keeping with judicial independence, in keeping with our independence and what our constitution speaks about. Julian Malins KC, who was a part of the legal team for Sean, Sean Storm Campbell, says the Privy Council made a sound judgment. Well, I think it was entirely the right decision. They're on remand now, not convicted persons. So we regard this uh, uh, as a very big win. Mr. Palmer is not a convict. He does not have a conviction. Mr. Sean Campbell does not have a conviction. Mr. Um, Andre St. John is not convicted on this matter. And Mr. Keras Jones, his conviction is quashed on this. Meanwhile, it's the hope of attorney Linda Hudson that the Court of Appeal considers all the relevant factors. One that immediately comes to mind. The time that the appellants have spent in custody and also media publicity, etc. But I'm sure, uh, I feel comfortable that the Court of Appeal will come to the right decision on that. And in the event there's a retrial, Miss Hudson says there's one question at the centre of it all. And whether a fair trial is at all possible. There were some supporters of Mr Palmer who were unstoppable. The men said they had to be at the Privy Council on Thursday for the judgment. I know say there's not a hundred percent to say my man guilty them we are there to how they try to portray him. You understand? I'm not saying he's without sin, but there's a lot more to this, and I'm not giving no justice. When you look at the, the evidence the, and how the court deal with it in Jamaica, you can see it was an unsafe conviction, you know, and a lot of um, violation of rights. And here in the, in the UK, they deal with your rights. Ramada Lyons, TVJ News.